This is so gross. That is really gross under there. It's just so gross from butter, and I guess we poop our chocolate here, but dirty. Okay, we gotta close that, sweetie. Now, Mom, those clean. Nothing special, but it's clean. <laughs> Hi everyone, today I'm gonna be cleaning out my fridge and filling it with a haul from Aldi. I shop at Costco often, but um, this time my husband was able to run to Aldi to pick some things up for us. We're not close enough to get an Instacart um, delivery as we don't even live in our town with the Aldi in it. So I had him pick a few things up, some staples we usually get. They, He said they're out of some of our normals like carrots and heavy whipping cream. But I do still have some heavy whipping cream from Costco and a few other things, but I thought you might like to see my fridge clean out and put my stuff back in the fridge, how I kind of organize it all, and just share with you what I do in my fridge. It's kind of fun to watch other people restock their fridge, and so I thought I'd just share that with you today. All right, so here's the current status of our fridge. How we get raw milk delivered to us. I have those, we get farm fresh eggs. Like I said, I still have a big thing of heavy whipping cream. I'm just not sure if it's gone bad or not. I have some scobies and some kombucha in the back. And then just some leftovers. I do label here where things go, like cottage cheese and yogurt. Um, there's just some random other things. It's a few leftovers. I don't know if I need to clean out a whole lot other than some of these drawers. So some of these drawers get a little grody. And actually the vegetable drawer, I tried cleaning out a little bit already and I should have filmed it first, but it was full of dirt from my homegrown carrots. And it just had spilled and leaked out, but I need to do a little more cleaning there and underneath of that. And then just here's some more stuff in our drawer. So my homemade sauerkraut, kombuchas, sauces, and the like. So I'm gonna do a little cleaning. The girls are watching a short show, so I'll get that done. Husband's coming home with the groceries. I was actually on my way to a 24 week midwife appointment and to get groceries in a Walmart pickup and my car died. So I had to have triple A to it. The girls were with me. It was kind of a chaotic morning. So just gonna be home doing some cleaning, doing some play with the girls and show you my restocking of my fridge here. ever is boxes okay so I'm just gonna do a very casual what we got when husband buys something sometimes you don't always get what you normally get so like I wouldn't usually buy this type of marinara sauce pasta sauce but it's okay I needed some and he got it a couple things of salsa so that will go in our pantry downstairs lettuce some celery mushrooms some cheeses the girls are holding a Havarti cheese and a cheddar cheese, so got that. A couple bags of spinach, because I use those for breakfast in the morning. Just some raisins. I prefer these ones, but again, husband went shopping, so he wanted the hint of lime. We got a couple types of tortilla chips. And then some bunches of bananas. Grapes were on sale. Avocados were on sale. The blueberries were on sale, so we got one of those. Blueberries! Yes. And I have been enjoying dark chocolate in the middle of the afternoon during girls' snack time. So, oh, and a gallon of milk that went to the freezer just to have on hand for extras and baking and stuff. I do like our organic milk, but it's nice to have that. So, 
Oh, cucumber too down there that I missed. So a few things he did miss. I know I put yogurt on there and again, couldn't get carrots, couldn't get heavy cream. So that's what happens when you ask a spouse. They did, a, he did a great job and I'm very grateful that he was able to pick those up for us. I'm gonna finish wiping things out and then fill the fridge. So this is a very casual, just what it is <laughs> video for you, which maybe you'll enjoy. Maybe you'll like my more put together coordinated videos, but I thought you might enjoy seeing this. So let's keep con um, continuing to clean the fridge here and fill it up. Actually, this is so gross. That is really gross under there. Yeah. Now that is nasty dirty in there. Gonna get that wiped off. <laughs> All right, here's my vegetable drawer. This is good compared to what it was. So we're gonna try to get this cleaned out. It's so crazy how dirty this area can get. Nope, oh, I'll have to give that to my husband. <laughs> Didn't even know that was there. But yeah, just so gross from butter, and I guess we blew our chocolate here, but dirty. Nothing special, but it's clean and it's put in there. So, like I said, eggs, dairy, some scobies. Um, this is our yogurt and cottage cheese, which we didn't end up getting any more of. Which I'll just make my own yogurt because I can do that. These are kind of like our snacks, I guess. Homemade snacks, Greek yogurt, avocado, or not Greek yogurt. Sorry, pro homemade protein bars that the girls eat. There's some banana bread, sourdough banana bread back there. Um, then just some other leftovers, like a sourdough skillet bake, some extra turkey, yep. Um, some extra pasta sauce with some noodles there, extra chili, we'll finish that for lunch. Then I just did put one bag of spinach in here and my mushroom, so this is kind of like my breakfast <laughs> stuff I'll use there. Bread, okay honey, shh for a minute. I actually don't put bread in the fridge anymore, so I should take that out, I should say like meats because we have like our deer sticks, our extra cheeses, our goat cheeses. Um, these extra cheeses I got here. I freeze some cheese I get from uh, Azure, Azure Standard, then my quite big Parmesan cheese block, some other beef sticks here that I get from Costco, our raw tortillas that we're almost out of too. Then my fruit bin. I do put avocados in with my fruit bin. We had oranges, grapes, like I said, showed you all that. I like having little containers to kind of just separate it out. And then I have extra space here if I need something else in there. And then vegetables. That drawer was nasty in there, but I'll put like my, put my lettuce in there and onion, my cucumber, celery. Celery, I will end up putting up top, like cut it so it stays fresh longer, but that's for soups. My homegrown carrots are still in there. And there's my vegetables. And I didn't really clean this out at all. I wiped it out, I should say. And then, like I said, I do put our chocolates up here for, these are for my husband and I, our extra Kerrygold butter that we use all the time. 
We like our zevias here. These are just some home canned peaches we need to get through. And then I kind of just categorize it like we use our peanut butter and almond butter every day for breakfast. The girls help get that out. So I make sure to make it accessible for them. Like our spicier things here, salsa, ketchup, a chili sauce, sriracha, mustard, tahini. Um, this is going to go out the door because we won't eat that. I'll bake it and gift it. Just some extra like liquid aminos, avocado mayo, maple syrup, and more kombuchas. Sauerkraut, told you all that. So there is my fridge for you guys. Okay, so that took about mm, total an hour and 15, 20 minutes. It did need a deep cleaning in that vegetable drawer, for sure. That was really bad, but this is just how my fridge is set up. Like I said, I like seeing how other people's fridges are set up. I need to rework the bread, cheese, through and put meat and cheese. But there you have it, and hope you enjoyed seeing how I organized my fridge and what I got from Aldi, minus a few things.